Hello everybody, this is Abraham with No Short Computer Services and today I'd like to talk about hacking. Uh, I have this item here that uh, I need to take apart. Okay, And what I have found is that manufacturer is using these oddball screws. Uh, they're not Phillips and they're not flathead for those who don't know what Phillips is this is a Phillips head screwdriver okay the flat head is basically um, just a line through the screw and uh, what they were what they tried to do was uh, to create a screw that would be difficult to get into so we got two screws this one has a triangle drive and this one has a square drive or I should say the Phillips head drive. Uh, if you go to the store you cannot find the drives for this um, screw and it will all be clear why I'm saying hacking and screws. Uh, this is called a security screw. You hear a lot about security everywhere on the internet and uh, what does hacking means? This security screw has a big security flaw. You can use a flat head screwdriver to drive into the triangle and actually take the screw out okay so that's what security flaw means that's what the manufacturers and software manufacturers say they're patching the security software has a lot of holes in it so let me show you how it's done so we'll just jam our flat head screwdriver into the triangle and basically take the screw out like you know it was meant to be done and if it doesn't fit you can actually shave the flat head a little bit it'll fit but this one fits perfectly so we take one out I've taken most of them out already I left two for display and as you can see with practically no effort uh, I'm hacking into the security system of this device whereby most people, that's what manufacturer thinks, will see the screw and will get turned off by even trying. Okay, so now that all the screws are out, there you go, the thing is opened up. I'm not saying that this is a difficult work or it's impossible to find the triangle drive but why would you you know all you have to do is sit and think a little bit and you'll find an answer and the answer is that some so on my screwdriver I have several blades and see this one fits also this one could work um, this one's probably too big and this one's too small there are actually quite few of these flaws uh, on the security screws. Um, when manufacturers make these things, they think about people's unwillingness. Okay, people normally look at this and say, "Ah, to hell with it! I'm not going to take it apart and just throw away the item." Um, but as you can see, this is easily hackable okay and this is what a definition of true hack is you find another way to get into the system the secured system um, so normally you would see a login and password but other people know that there may be um, administrator access there may be root access there may be some dial-in FTP access and they use those ports they use those other ways of getting into the system and that's called hacking so for those who are not familiar with the term hacking I hope this kinda of brings the point across that this screw is a security screw and you hack it by applying something that works not as intended but it does the job Hopefully this helps somebody. Thank you. Bye.